Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travel. So if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, how are you all doing? Um, I hope everybody is as well as possible and um, enjoying the day or night wherever you are in the world. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please subscribe to my channel and a big thank you and thumbs up for doing so. I, I really appreciate it and um, today I'm going to be doing a top 10 most beautiful beaches worldwide at June 2023 and I'm getting my information and you can read more about um, this and see the, the photos of the beautiful beaches on the luxury uh, travel expert.com so i'm going to fire away uh, with number one which is tulum riviera mexico stunning malayan ruin um, in all of mexico uh, so there's stunning malayan ruins in all of mexico and um, a broad stretch of white at sand and mesmerizing tur turquoise caribbean waters uh, more than make up uh, for the beach not being exactly private um it's quite a touristy beach so um it's probably not the beach um for you if you're wanting somewhere more private but it is nevertheless a a stunning and beautiful beach and it looks absolutely amazing on photographs and number two Nava Geo excuse my my pronunciation beach in Sakinsos Greece Nava Geo beach and um, when I was in um, in Foss, we didn't go to um, that beach um, but uh, the beach is isolated um, it does look absolutely stunning yet strikingly blue to beautiful cove on the Greek island of Sakinthos it looks really beautiful on pictures and um, it is with your uh, referred to as shipwreck beach because it is believed to be a sm being a smuggler's shipwreck the area is defined by sheer limestone cliffs uh, white sandy beaches and uh, clear blue water and um, the strip of a uh, beach is uh, uh, only accessible by boat so um, we could you could only really go on say a trip with like your hotel or apartments or a tourist trip by boat to reach it but you can see uh, from it standing on the high side of the surrounding cliffs and looking down at the, the beach but you can't actually walk down to the beach but you can uh, you can see it um, and take photos of it uh, from the surrounding cliffs moving on to um, Grace Bay Turks in Chaos Tur Turks in Chaos um, comprises of four, 40 islands and uh, caves which Prav Denicles um, is the main tourist centre. It is on the northern side of the shore. It is 19 kilometres or about 12 miles. Paradise, perfect mix of sugary sand and transparent waters fringed with all coral reef system with fabulous snorkel snorkeling and diving that you could do there so if you want to go to a want a beautiful beach and you want to do 
snorkeling and diving then grace bay turks in chaos and um, is the one for uh, you uh, to obviously go and look at and um, obviously if you can afford to do so um, number four um, Whitehaven Beach Queensland Australia is located in the heart of the Great Barrier Reef Australia's most famous beach um, stretches for 4.4 miles 7 kilometres and is washed by swirls of turquoise blue and green water wow it looks amazing um, the sand is 18% pure white uh, silica which uh, gives it a brilliant near luminous scent colour uh, you can reach the beach via helicopter or seaplane or you can sail to Whitehaven Beach with one of the many yacht excursions in the area so again if you're traveling to australia and you're going to be in that area then um if you're looking for um a beautiful beach um with which is at whitehaven beach in queensland moving on now at uh, now to baha excuse my pronunciation <laughs> do sancho fernando d no rancho brazil <laughs> please excuse my pronunciation uh, we're getting to the half may mark which is number five it's um situated in the remote remote island of fernando de nor or noah um it has an active volcanic um archipelago Lego of uh, 21 islands wow in the atlantic ocean ap approximately 220 miles that's 350 kilometers of all coasts of north eastern brazil bay S sparkling wow emerald water and soft white sands are surrounded by vegetation the beach it, it can only be reached by a boat or by foot on a dirt trail through a crack in the rock uh, wall with a, f a few dozen uneven slippery sandy steps the beach is perfect for snorkeling and spotting rays so if you enjoy snor or snorkeling and spotting rays and um, if uh, you're going to brazil and in that area then again um it may be worth a visit um again it doesn't sound like it's an easy beach to reach by track but you can reach it by boat um moving on to number six long beach vancouver island canada wow um lawn at uh, the longest sandy beach in canada vancouver island which is office eye popping well it's eye popping scenic views and undermatched marine time and wilderness wow it looks amazing and uh, number seven mayor bay catch pie pie Tha thailand excuse my pron uh, pronunciation maya bay is stunningly beautiful um sheltered bay on thailand's car fee fee island or with um a ring of white sand surrounded by um manograms and uh, a tower, a towering limestone and um, blank wall blanketed 
uh, by dense for, uh, forage silk white sand wow and underwater co uh, colourful coral and exotic exotic fish um, ex in exceptionally clear water so wow if you're visiting Thailand and you're visiting um, Koa pa Pai Hai Island then Maya Bay again is a very beautiful uh, bay to visit uh, moving on to number eight um, which is um, Camps Bay Cape Town um, South Africa but uh, boasting blinding white sand wow set against the majestic backdrop of 12 Apostles Mountain Range and Table Mountain Camps Bay water is said to be um, a bit cold uh, due to the currents in the Atlantic Ocean uh, but um, that it should not distract be, uh, because there's a main amazing absolutely amazing scenery and world famous um, sunsets um, around there as well to uh, go and see so it um, if you are in South Africa, Cape Town, then Camps Beach um, is a great one to visit. Um, coming in at, at number nine, Polly Hole Beach, Hawaii, um, USA. 11 kilometres, 70 miles stretch on the water end of Car um, um, Hawaii, one of the world's most scenic, or Kauai, one of the most scenic Hawaii, Hawaiian islands, the Hawaiian archipelagos, excuse my pronunciation, um, most um, breathtakingly beautiful beach. The beach can be reached at, for, at port, which is a poorly marked, however, dirt sugar cane road uh, making a four wheel drive is preferable um way to reach this beach um check with the rental com uh, car company uh, before heading out and um, that you're able to get to this uh, beach with the car and the road situation and um, last but not least, finally, number 10, um, ANSE Source de Argent, which is the Seychelles, one of the most photographical beaches in the world. Wow, it looks amazing. Really beautiful. Again, all these do on uh, photos. Um, the Bling white sands of anise at uh, source of argent um, across La Diaic. the beach sparkles against the backdrop of enormous granite uh, boulders uh, worn by time and weather and um, offshore reef uh, provides a protection from ocean waves making the turquoise water um, an ideal spot for swimming so if you're looking for places um, to swim then or want to swim in beautiful surrounding areas and uh, Seychelles um, again if you can afford it a n s e source D Argent um, is again a great beach to or place to go swimming. So I would like to say thank you for watching, um, and I'll see you uh, for another video uh, tomorrow, um, which is. Um, 
basically going to be my travel improvements updates and more so please keep watching and thank you and enjoy your night or day wherever you are in the world and i'll see you tomorrow thank you bye